calling all members of the in crowd. If you want to get in on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast or drop us a line on X at Fade Route DNZ. You can find us on Facebook, The Fade Route with DNZ. We're on Spreaker. We're on YouTube, The Fade Route with DNZ. Catch our videos. Like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and spread the word. Order up! It is time for us to order up. Order up, order up. This week, in honor of Knicks Pacers and the Rangers series that we just witnessed, it got us thinking, what is the greatest playoff series of all time? Mm. Maybe some that we've seen, maybe some we haven't seen, but have heard a lot about. Who knows? Who knows? But let's rank them. From five to one, what do you got, D? All right, so I'm going to start off easy for everybody. For me, this is number five, and it's the 1994 Stanley Cup. This one will last a lifetime. It may Rangers have to. defeated the Canucks in Madison Square Garden in Game Seven. Rangers at one point were up three games to one. The Canucks came, Canucks came back, but were ultimately defeated in Game Seven. Again, it'll last a lifetime. Oh, now I'm going to get a little personal. <laughs> so, game uh, number four, game six, 1998 NBA Finals, the Jordan's last dance uh, with the Bulls. Last sequence of the game six featured Jordan picking the pocket of Carl Malone, calmly coming down court and hitting a go ahead shot over Brian Russell, leaving his hand pirouetted and following it through to sink the basket to win his sixth NBA championship. Uh, number three. The 2003 World Series. The New York Yankees against the Florida Marlins. (laughs) Game six, the Josh Beckett game. On short rest, the 23-year-old Beckett shut down the vaulted Yankees lineup in New York. Five, he had a five-hit shutout, complete game. Won the MVP, only giving up two runs, eight hits, and had 19 strikeouts in 16 and third innings. Uh, in his two st- over his two starts, stories emerged how the Marlins celebrated with 40s all over Yankee Stadium. That is amazing. Number two, the 2001 World Series. You sensing a trend? Kurt Schilling and Randy Johnson together ended the Yankees' five-year dominance in Major League Baseball. Alfonso Soriano hits a home run in the eighth, and Mariano comes in for a two-inning save, gives up two runs. To lose the World Series for the Yankees in epic fashion. And number one in all your hearts, it is the 2004 ALCS. The Red Sox became the first and only team to overcome a 3-0 deficit. Kurt Schilling, Bloody Sock, Johnny Damon, Grand Slam, in Game 7. Yankees won a lot when I was in high school and grammar school, but this collapse was the best thing I ever saw. It was the best thing history you see what do you got z oh let it out let it out it's okay it's okay it really is, it is. i'm really is. i'm really fine with it I'm happy. one brave world series I wasn't happy then but happy. one brave world series in all that time it's okay you have as many as the mets yeah. did in that time it's okay <laughs> it's okay this is a safe space oh my gosh such vitriol unbelievable <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, Oh, where do we go from here? I have to start. This is going to be tough because there's so many choices that, that you can think about, that you can consider. I got to start with Phillies Blue Jays World Series back and forth two star studded teams Joe Carter hits the home run off of Mitch Williams like that is 
a great series capped off with an iconic moment. Number four. You would think I would say the 86 Mets versus Red Sox. Not gonna. Not gonna. The 86 Mets Astros NLCS was even better. The allegations of Mike Scott doctoring the ball. You have the extra inning game. It's just a rivalry that was perfect for its time. And yes, the Mets happened to win in 86 against the Red Sox, but the Astros series was way more intense. Number three. Oh. I gotta say, this was, these, these are starting to get harder now. They are, they're definitely starting to get harder now. I have to... I have to go with... Yankees, Red Sox, 04. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Yankees, Red Sox, 04. It's history, it baby. That, that was a major comeback. Like, you can't deny a major comeback. You can't. Sorry. You just can't. It was... It was the rematch. That's the thing, right? 03 yeah, yeah. with Boone off of Wakefield. Like, that was... You kind of have to put that in totality, right? I mean, Yankees, Red Sox in general, I think you have to put together. So, 03 and 04 as two series, as a continuation of... Essentially, the continuation of the same fucking series. <laughs> so... I gotta say, 3 4 Yankees, Red Sox, a tie for third. Second, I gotta go Rangers, Devils, 1994. Oh. War of attrition between those two teams. And you got Mike Richter on one side, you have Martin Brodeur on the other side, you have players that plain hate each other. Scott Stevens, a oh. menace. An absolute menace on the ice. And then that magical call by Howie Rose. Mato, Mato, Mato. And that takes you to the Stanley Cup Finals. But you don't get to the Stanley Cup Finals if you don't win that series and you lay it all out there. The Messier guarantee. Come on. Right? It had everything you wanted. It's a blood rivalry. And number one, for the historical purpose. Maybe not so much the gameplay purpose. Game 7. Actually, just for Game 7 alone. 2016. Cubs, Indians. For the first time in 108 years, you can fly the W as the champion of Major League Baseball. That 7th game alone, with Chapman giving up, giving it up to Rajay Davis, only to only for them to get it right back. It was a team of destiny. It was a time of destiny. And that just resonated. It had all of America. Because 108 years for the Cubs. 54, I believe, for the Indians at the time. Maybe even more. So somebody's O had to go. They couldn't end that one mm-hmm. in a tie. Somebody's O had to go. And credit to the Cubbies for flying that W. Even Chris Bryant. Those are our lists. What are yours? Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com or slide in our DMs on IG at faderoutepodcast or drop us a line on X at faderoutednz and let us know what your favorite playoff series of all time are. Thank you.
Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.